Hi and welcome to Joel's DIY. Uh, today we have a VCR to demo and somewhat review. Uh, kind of an interesting little thing that I picked up. Um, I was in the market for uh, SVHS uh, VCR. Um, I came across a few, uh, but the, some of them are running a little bit more expensive these days. And you really just get lucky at the Goodwill or at a thrift store to find one of these. Uh, but I did find one on eBay for a pretty reasonable pr price. Um, so this is the Panasonic. Let's see if I can get the model number here. Panasonic uh, PV-VS4821. Uh, this is uh, made in Indonesia Panasonic uh, VCR and as you can see from the back of the inputs you do get a vi S video in and a S video out uh, which allows you to record uh, in uh, super uh, VHS or S VHS so this VCR is nothing out of the ordinary is other than having that input from what I can see I mean it does have uh, the commercial skip if you wanted to play uh, or sorry if you wanted to record off uh, an antenna or uh, a digital a DTV input I'm not sure if it would work with uh, digital video since I mean I'm sure that this was more designed for analog so I don't know how useful that function would be you do get the movie advance and as you can see from the manual so here's a look at the movie advanced feature uh, straight from the manual. Uh, this is designed to allow you to skip through previews in a movie. Uh, the prerequisites uh, mention that you do have to have the record tab removed from the cassette in order for you to be able to do this. So uh, most tapes uh, that were made uh, back in the 90s and early 2000s already had the tab removed on um, tapes that were sold in stores or rented out. So this feature could be used on those tapes. Um, so this might be very useful if you uh, don't like to watch the previews and just skip right up to the movie. Um, and this works kind of in tandem with uh, the commercial advance, uh, which I'm also going to show in the manual. Uh, so as I mentioned earlier, I'm not sure if this would work being now, now that we have uh, digital uh, TV. Uh, I'm sure we'd like to try it at some point. Um, but uh, this allows you to skip through commercials uh, automatically. Uh, it says here uh, that it will mark commercial blocks to, or you can set it so that uh, certain commercials are only skipped. Um, so this is all operated with this uh, remote, which I don't own. So I'm hoping that at some point I can purchase it. Right now I'm operating this VCR just with my smart controls. Uh, this is a pretty standard uh, play button, but I do like how big it is. It kind of stands out and makes it easy to just find the button right away. You got your rewind, you got your forward uh, eject button. Uh, it says uh, VHS, VCR plus gold. Never really used VCR plus, but I'm sure it has something to do with scheduling your programs if you wanted to record them. It does got a front input, which is always kind of nice. Uh, to have on VCRs, um, you got a uh, channel, the, the tuner. I would I would say that this would probably be for the analog. It does not do uh, DTV at all, so can't really have much function for this. You do have uh, your VCR and TV uh, switch, and that's basically it. Um, this did not come with the remote, so I had to work or work around that with uh my programmable remote um so i i am able to i was able to make adjustments and set the clock and everything uh with that remote it would have been nice if they had an interface somewhere in the in the vcr but you know obviously this vcr is not as good as the ones you might have found in the 80s that did the super v uh, vhs but i'm more intrigued about the fact that it has those uh, s video uh, outputs because I'm kind of curious to see if uh, we can see any difference uh, in the quality of the video. Um, I've seen different videos online talking about uh, S video uh, on VCRs, and uh, some of them, some people have mentioned that you know there's not really a big, 
huge difference between com uh, composite and, and S video as far as quality coming out of the VHS tapes. I do have a couple of VHS tapes that I recorded uh, on my Sony VCR. I'm curious to see uh, if there could be a, a difference in quality uh, if I were to uh, record some tapes uh, using uh, the S uh, VC VHS. Um, but for today, we're gonna go ahead and just uh, play a couple of uh, tapes just to kind of see the difference uh, with the output that the S video, and we'll also be testing the composite video. So let's go ahead and get that set up. Right now we have uh, the VCR all hooked up and it's hooked up to this uh, Wega uh, Sony TV. Uh, it's a uh, Trinitron. I'm not exactly sure what model this is. But this is a, let me see if I can turn this around for a sec. Oh, there's the model number right there. So it's a Sony uh, KV-27FS uh, L20, 27 inch TV. Uh, it's a really, really nice TV. I have several other Sony components uh, hooked up to it. That's my uh, Hi-Fi stereo uh, VCR that I bought for this machine. I also got my Betamax that I've demoed on other videos and I also got my Morantz uh, laser disc player hooked up to this uh, the Moran's actually also has as video uh, so I disconnected it and I hooked everything up to the the VCR um, let's uh, see a quick demo of the menu so I'll go ahead and uh, show you the menu momentarily right now I have the uh, the S video display hooked up uh, so you just press action and then those are your menus um, this feature right here uh, turns on, I guess, S video recording or allows you to do S video recording. Um, and then you got your language and uh, v VCR's output. So if you wanted to do uh, coaxial out or whatever, you would get, uh, you would use the, either the channel four or channel three. Uh, there is a repeat play function, there's a timestamp function. Um, remote warning which I don't I'm not exactly sure what that does auto shot off very useful in case you forget to turn off your VCR and uh, the language so let's take a look at the other menu okay and uh, this is the commercial uh, feature uh, that uh, allows you to uh, skip uh, so I am not sure uh, how that set is set up I mean I I'd actually have to look it in the manual but it's actually kind of obsolete because unless, again, unless you have uh, a way to, you know, hook up a, a DTV tuner onto this VCR, I don't see if, I'm not sure if it would work or not. So I'm not going to try because, uh, you know, I really don't record anything off my TV anymore. So um, that's that. And also you got the, the clock set up so you could actually do an auto clock set or a manual. And... Uh, uh, you know, this is the TV tuner that uh, once would have been useful when there was analog TV, but unfortunately there's no more analog TV, so this is pretty useless. Um, so that's the menu. All right, uh, let's go ahead and play a video. I'll go ahead and hook this up to, I want to demo uh, composite first. So we can kind of get a good idea of the quality that this TV is able to do, so I'm going to hook up to my video three input okay and i'll play the video they got playing here let me turn down the volume okay so uh i mean uh, the 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 quality of the video is nothing special i mean it's it is what it is um, let's go ahead and switch over to i mean you definitely see a lot of our artifacting and noise uh, especially uh, when it's in the dark, um, let's take a look at the, the S video function. So I'm going to go ahead and jump over to that. Okay. So, uh, it is mildly sharper. Uh, there's still a lot of noise on the video, obviously, because it's darker and that's going to stand out, but it's just a, a tiny bit sharper. Um, so that's that. Um, let me see if I can 
there's more light right there. Maybe we might be able to see a better difference. Yeah, definitely sharper. So this is a movie that I recently recorded. Uh, it's high definition. I mean, it's basically the Blu-ray version of uh, this movie. And uh, the colors are really nice. This is a, obviously a lot lighter, so you're not really seeing a lot of dark colors. So you, less of the artifacting is noticeable. Uh, but if I switch that over to my composite, you'll definitely see that the uh, the S video is uh, again slightly sharper. Um, of course, the composite looks okay here as well because I mean, less dark uh, colors and uh, definitely a lot less. Uh, uh, darkness that brings out the artifacting but if you that's video like I said it's a tiny bit sharper you can definitely see a decent quality here wanted to try one more thing before I end my video uh, with this uh, VCR um, so what I have right here is a DTV uh, tuner uh, and this is one of the only ones that I own that actually has an S-Video uh, output. So I've hooked this up to the VCR. And right now I'm letting the tuner, I think it's almost done. Oh, it's actually done already. I'm letting it scan for channels to see. Uh, I can find a channel that I can record some video off of. And as you can see, I do have the uh, S video and S, uh, sorry, the S VHS and the S VHS ET selected um, because I'm going to try to record something off uh, the DTV. Uh, so as I'm recording it, I'm just going to record the screen to kind of get an idea of what the quality is, is, is that it's recording on. And then uh, we'll pop the tape up and we'll see how well it recorded. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and find uh, a VHS tape and uh, we'll get that set up. Okay, so I did find, managed to find a blank VHS, never been used. Still, as a matter of fact, it's got the labels there. Dropped them on the floor. Um, so what I'm going to use is uh, this tape and uh, should uh, figure out if it's... Uh, Gotta record. Let me put it in real quick. Okay, so I'm gonna push that in. Okay, so that's set up, and apparently it's gonna record on SVHS ET. So I'm gonna go ahead and remove this menu from the TV. So let me do that for a sec. I'm gonna go ahead and start recording that. Okay, so it looks like it's recording already. All right, so this is the quality of video that it's recording. I'll let it record for a minute or so. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and press play and see what we got. Okay, that interference is probably the tape. But if I have to, if I, if I do say, I mean, it's not that bad. I mean, it is a little bit artifacty but definitely stays pretty uh sharp um the colors are okay but again i mean s video is not that far off from composite i mean so you're still gonna get somewhat of a composite signal but the sharpness is there i mean so not too bad i mean nothing out of the ordinary and as you can see right there was playing on uh, S-Video ET, so. Thoughts on this tape player? 
I honestly think that its quality is okay, I guess, for it being uh, a slight improvement on uh, composite, sorry, yeah, composite uh, video out. Um, I guess it would be worth it if you really were in the market to buy one of these. It'd be very interesting to see what kind of quality you get with an actual uh, SVHS tape uh, straight out of the uh, factory or wherever you can get it. Um, it would be interesting to see the quality that you get from that uh, tape player. Um, but honestly, I don't know if I would be willing to spend hundreds of dollars to try to get that uh, from a VHS tape. I mean, the S video, I mean, does sharpen up the picture mildly, but it's not a significant thing that I would notice. Um, I'm happy to have only spent probably around $50 shipped to get this uh, VCR over to my home. It's from 2001, so it's it's relatively newer than a lot of the other VCRs that I've seen. Um, if you do get yourself into the collection of VCRs, uh, I caution you because sometimes these VCRs need a little bit of work. Um, so you definitely, if you're able to do it and you know give it the maintenance and get it to work right, I mean, you might end up being really happy. Um, I kind of try to stay away from VCRs that are a little too old because um, the older they are, the more wear they usually have unless you can find one mint. Uh, and if you're lucky to find that, I mean, you're going to pay top dollar for that. Uh, this is this was 50 bucks. Uh, well, it was $30, uh, $50 sh uh, shipped. And uh, I mean, I, I think I'm going to go ahead and use this as my default uh, player. I've already already got I've already bought uh, an upscaler that will take the S video signal and put it into HDMI. So I'm definitely going to give this uh, more runs and trials to see if it really does improve the quality of some of the tapes that I'm buying. Uh, I'm sure with newer movies, I might be getting better quality on the on the for the S video signal. But nonetheless, I think my recommendation here is probably not to spend absurd amounts of money to try to get this S video signal into your uh, your monitor uh, because you might be a little bit disappointed with the slight improvement that you're going to get. It's not a significant improvement that you might get, like if you were going from. Comp Composite to component or composite to HDMI. So uh, don't spend too much money trying to get this uh, for your uh, uh, for your own setup. So um, yeah, so I'm content that I only spent fifty bucks to get this because it's kind of a novelty. Um, so I will test it out on my uh, big screens, my seventy inch Sony, and see if I'm happy with the quality I get out of this VCR. Uh, right now, I have the uh, made in China Sony, so this is going to replace that, and, and we'll see how how that works out. Uh, but nonetheless, um, I'm glad that I got it, and I'm glad that I was able to show everyone to kind of you know let you have your own opinion about it because you know you might it might be something you might want to add to your analog uh, player system. It might not be. So, anyways, uh, thank you for joining me today. I hope you enjoyed this video. Have a wonderful weekend, and I'll see you in the next one. Thank you.